What's going on, my fellow A plusers? Welcome back once again to a brand new video. It is I, your more phenomenal host, Adam Perez, and we've got some new content headed your guys' way today. Um, this is actually our second dive into a Studio Gaiga Tokusatsu series. Uh, we actually wind up reviewing Waku Saver, the first five episodes for you guys. Uh, we made that exclusively to our $1 tier for our patron supporters, so thank you very much for that, guys. Um, certainly hope that you enjoyed Waku Saver along the way. Um, and um, we decided to go ahead and dive into Studio Gaiga uh, once again because they went ahead and revealed that they had a new tokusatsu series that they were going to be unleashing for us in regards to Dino Vader. So today we're going to be getting into Dino Vader episode number one. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I am a little bit hesitant diving into this particular series, devoting my time towards it for one particular reason. Uh, one of the things that I realized when reviewing Waku Saver, while yes, Studio Gaiga certainly is an adult film sort of company um I, I felt like Waku Saber for the most part was them really branching out in Tokusatsu just a little bit in regards to at least adding maybe some series elements, if you will, to the adult film concept. Um, one of the things that I wind up finding out after reviewing episodes one through five, I kept telling myself, I thought there were six episodes in this. I thought this was a six part mini series or something. Well, unfortunately for us, part six is actually a not safe for work sort of content, which explains why they certainly didn't release it over on on YouTube. Uh, it is, in fact, part of the DVD collection that you certainly have to purchase if you want more of that raunchy adult film idea. Uh, we really weren't trying to review all that here on A Plus More Phenomenal, just the tokusatsu side of things. Um, but that explains why episode six is just null and void from YouTube because they just can't share it there, unfortunately. And I'm not about to buy it just to go ahead and finish off that series. So diving into Dino Vader, I am kind of curious if this is the same concept that's going to happen. I don't know if this is going to be a limited series of five to six episodes. I don't know if this is going to be an ongoing series in regards to Studio Gaiga taking this series seriously. Or is it just really meant to finish in, pun intended, a, a climax, right? Because that's really what it was. Waku Saver, we not we never got the climax for us YouTube followers, but there definitely is a climax at the end of that particular movie, I'm quite sure. So I am wondering, like, is am I really wasting my time reviewing Dino Vader um, just to not get the full story because maybe the final episode is completely not safe for work sort of content. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. I'm going to give this a shot because I felt like last time felt very Super Sentai oriented. Dino Vader, when I look at this, feels very Metal Heroes um, sort of concept that they're dabbling into. Um, and, and I definitely get like Big Bad Beetleborgs VR Trooper vibes just from the costumes alone. So I thought, let me go ahead and check it out and we'll see what the outcome of this series is going to be. Are they going to be taking it super serious or is just this another limited series to leave off in uh, ep the final episode being just fully porn or something like that? So I, I guess we'll eventually find out to say the least. Um, so when it comes to episode number one, first and foremost, I will say this. I appreciate the fact that they've added more time to this episode. One of the things when it came to Waku Saver I complained about was the length of the episodes being 10 to 9 minutes long. This one was at least 13, so it definitely had some room to play with it a little bit, add a little bit more character moments um, and, and things like that, so um, they definitely felt like they managed their time very well, even with just trying to tell a story in 13 minutes. Um, so uh, the one thing that I will say too is that this does feel very similar to Waku Saver in a sense that um, it's there's almost like a recruitment pitch here. Now, while we definitely have at least two thirds of this Dino Vader sort of group already together, there is a concept of there's another member out there. We have to recruit them before the villains wind up um, finding them sort of thing. So it definitely has that same mindset, but I felt like the execution in here was handled so much more incredibly well. Um, the, the be able to have that added time of seeing our Dino Vaders at least explain somewhat of the concept to uh, our pink female in here uh, 
uh, as to the team that she's becoming a part of, how does the changers actually work, um, introducing her to like the weapons and where she gets her abilities from. So they definitely at least did do a really great job in, in, in informing her as to everything that was going on, which is something that I definitely appreciated from here compared to how they certainly handled it with Waku Saver. Waku Saver was like, here, use this. And then they're like, okay, I guess so. And then next thing you know, they, they, they've got it all down packed. Whereas at least this time, we at least have somebody showing her the ropes instead of her just being completely blindsided and having no idea what was going on. Uh, great costume designs. Once again, I think Studio Gaga's got that like in the bag when it comes to designs, special effects certainly work. Weapons really jumped out at me. If anything, I thought the fighting was relatively legit, but honestly, I wouldn't mind a little bit smoother choreography when it comes to when it comes to it sometimes you can kind of tell that it was choreography whether it was the case of them like um you know almost feel like they're counting their punches or i do this and then you do this sort of thing right and duck and dodge out of the way i do wish it was just a little bit smoother but the fighting for the most part i was certainly there for and if i were to ask for anything else for them to do maybe some more dynamic camera angles right i think it i think the cinematography in waku saber was probably a lot a lot Lot better than what we wind up getting here in the first episode of Dino Vader. So uh, a little bit of a critique, a critique would be more dynamic camera angles, uh, smoother fighting choreography, but the fights, weapons, costume design, special effects, all of them definitely uh, on par. Um, other than that, I really enjoyed the characters that we wind up getting in here. Um, you know, I, I, there's still clearly a lot more to certainly learn about them, but as far as an introductory story, um, getting us, you know, uh, at least caught up a little bit as to what's going on, I thought episode one did a pretty good job in at least explaining the bare minimum to at least have me inquiring and curious about what else is certainly going to happen in episode two and certainly going forward. So overall, I, I enjoyed what I certainly saw. Uh, pink recruitments, I thought in here was really well handled, um, and so I just thought they did a much better time, a much better job this time around in regards to uh, at least explaining why they're sort of rec recruiting her in the first place. Um, not too familiar with any of these actors but pink definitely shines to me um gorgeous um I, I think they did a really great job in regards to casting her for this particular role um i thought the uh, idea of the zorus commander um the the unit or the device that they're using cool concept um we get introduced to not only pink in here i didn't happen to catch their names hopefully they're clarified as the season goes but right now we've got dino rex who is in fact the one in blue we've got dino tops who's the one in green i'm assuming both of those are plays off of the tyrannosaurus rex and triceratops and then in pink we've got the dino terra which i'm assuming is the pterodactyl uh theme as well um pink in here um clearly has a ballerina background which took me back to uh waku saver yellow i believe who also had a ballerina sort of background. So I, I do wonder if there is somebody in the writing crew or that works for Studio Gaiga that actually is a ballerina and like really wants to put them so, so, so much more at the at the forefront, which I kind of appreciate. We don't really get the opportunity to see ballerinas sort of as a, a hobby or, you know, a career choice by any of our Rangers or even in Super Sentai for that matter from the series that I've certainly watched. So it's actually a little bit of a, a breath of fresh air. So to see Pink kind of doing some ballerina work and she seemed like she's a, a legit batter, ballerina or at least studies it she definitely seems to have her balance under her in some of the movements um but uh, we, qu we quickly quickly come to find out that she is a ballerina in the beginning of this um the um uh, the Vi Vianators, uh, which I, for some reason my <laughs> my autocorrect on my phone says Violators. No, it's the Vi Vianators. V I O N N A T R O A T A V I O N N A T O R S. Violators, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, is how they pronounce them. Um, they clearly send down a monster uh, that's there to go ahead and take her life energy, if you will. Clearly frightening uh, 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 Pink here uh, in or until she actually bumps into the Dino Vaders and they once she winds up, they wind up giving her the abilities that she certainly needs to transform. So it, it's pretty cool to kind of see the concept of her being frightened at the very beginning, but once she actually has sort of backup and powers, uh, just how quickly once she's got that armor 
on the idea of that she just immediately goes to work really changes her sort of personality a little bit knowing that she's protected and she can really face off against anybody and stand up for herself it is pretty cool to kind of see the flip of the switch because even i think it's dino tops mentions the idea that you know she's got some pretty good spunk a little reckless to just dive into battle like that uh but just to see the immediate switch of that's um that confidence that she immediately has putting on that armor really does fashions to know that you're almost untouchable right so the fact that she thrusts herself into battle uh i thought was great i thought it was a great line from her partner in here great spunk great spunk you know uh, again great weaponry um they've got a a, a sword in here which kind of comes out of the guy's forearm really cool design we get to see another cool axe um and we got dino petra who actually has um or dino terra i should say who actually has a dagger and a shield to kind of go along with each other as a combo great stuff if you certainly ask me and while we didn't get to see too much of our vianators the villains in here they don't really get introduced to the generals the only people that we really get introduced to are in fact the monster and his henchmen but at the very end we at least do get the opportunity to see the two uh generals clearly upset and pissed off that the dino vaders have acquired their uh last member that they certainly needed i'm a little bit bummed though that they didn't give us the names of their generals they're ju we just kind of get thrust to wherever they're at see their displeasurement but we quickly see that our vianators certainly do have a secret weapon up their sleeve and it seems to be sort of a, a, a an evil dino vader sort of in the making it looks like a suit behind the cage that they're certainly working with and look you already have my attention with that i mean the idea of just evil rangers in general whether that be from super sentai or power rangers is always a fun concept um so, so to be able to see another badass suit sort of introduced something from the vianators where this is clearly going to be an evil version trying to take down our team of three uh, that alone certainly has me excited to see what this suit not only is going to look like um but how evil or how much of a problem is it really going to be for the dino vader so uh, i'm hoping now that we've got the team together at least by the end of this one episode hopefully they dive a little bit more into each other's personality um what made them dino vaders how they came to this particular point in time and i'm hoping that we continue to get 13 15 minute episodes and not just dramatically dropping it down to like nine or ten so we'll definitely see but i i thought that far as far as episode one solid introduction great fight sequences this musical score probably could be just a little bit better um again I, quite an attractive pink honestly um really cool way to see how she winds up sort of joining the team uh and just the spunk that kind of pops out of her personality uh when she actually does get the opportunity to meet with the dino vaders but i definitely want to learn more about green and blue in here as well and kind of see how long they've been um doing this fight for honestly but uh, we'll see what happens but overall good start we'll see if uh this series winds up leading to anything but at the end of the day guys these are just my a plus opinions i definitely want to go ahead and know yours have you checked out dino vader over on the studio giga youtube page um definitely go ahead and check it out if you certainly haven't had the opportunity to do so there should be an english subtitle somewhere for you guys to certainly find so once you check it out definitely go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the live chat or the comment section box below after this video airs but until next week guys do me a big favor take care of yourselves take care of each other and as always Keep it A+. Plus. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. If you enjoy our content and want to be a part of helping our channel grow, become a patron supporter. We have affordable tiers to choose from that offer a variety of exclusive and early access content. From audio files for all of our shows for you to enjoy on the road, access to our Discord community, and plenty of reactions, reviews, character breakdowns, and more. Check us out at patreon.com slash A plus opinions. And as always, remember, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so anytime we drop a brand new video, you will be notified.